Belinda here, welcome back. Right, so we're going to go with a splash pour again. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas, and um, I'm going to try get kind of like a glassy effect um, with my paints. So we'll get into that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and cover my canvas. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so let me just put this guy right on there. Let me put it over here so you guys can see better. Right, so I have a number of colors here, and um, I know that some of my colors are transparent. So I have cyan blue. And again, guys, I'm just going to layer. Well, not layer because the, technically the paint is a bit too thin to actually layer. And I have red. So I'll just try and layer it as best as I can. So my red is also transparent. I'm going to put up a video on uh, the members site soon just to show how you can change your transparent paint to opaque or semi-opaque so now I'm going in with some purple and I have some turquoise I'm trying not to use too much paint because um, I do want some white negative space. And then I have um, metallic deco art gold, and I have actually thinned this already down because there wasn't much left in here. So I don't want a lot of the gold because that is not transparent. And then I'll go in with a bit more blue, which might even make that a bit green. And a bit more red. And then I'm going to use some purple. And I won't be using any more turquoise. Ooh, these colours are actually looking really good. Okay. Let's just um, move all of that out of the way. Don't want any accidents. <laughs> we know how easily that happens with me. Okay. Now, here's my stirrer. These are my colours. I'm going to take my stick, because I've been going that way with my paint. Right. So I'll just split that, and then let's do this. So what I'm going to try and do is um, when I throw the paint, we'll see how I'm going to go with it because I want to throw it and then twist. Okay, let's go. Didn't quite uh, twist it in the middle because I wanted it twisted in the middle.
those colors are absolutely amazing. I'm not happy about that there. You can see the bubbles are coming up. The gold obviously is shimmering beautifully. Get a torch. up really well really nicely so I do still have paint left in my cup uh, not sure yet if I'm gonna need it but I want to try and get rid of that I think so let's start moving the paint around that purple oh it looks amazing Let's take it off there. Try not to get that end off. I'm going to turn this around because I see something which I might actually want to keep. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure what it is yet. So I'm going to um, leave that exactly the way it is. I think that is really, really nice. I love those colours. So it never quite came out um, transparent like I would have liked it to. The cells that are dropping off here are absolutely amazing. Okay. Let's give that a torch. I can still see some cells are popping up. So I'm just in two minds of whether I should get rid of this or leave it there. Not Lots of bubbles guys because I've just mixed up most of my paint. Well maybe you can tell me in the comments what it looks like. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Just make sure my, cover, my corners are covered properly. Okay, that should do it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you first. 
from this angle. I'm sorry about the studio light. All those beautiful red cells there. This is what I was looking at. It kind of, to me, let me know in the comments, it looks like looking at the back of a parrot and the parrot's head is turning to the side. Do you see that? Okay. So I'm trying to show you beautiful and glistening it is They're obviously sparkling very very much show you this side put the light off and hopefully you'll be able to see something let's see sadly you can't see it glisten all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye